Andrew here with the Old Toby Podcast. On this video, I'm going to be showing you one of the basic methods for packing and lighting a pipe. Uh, there's many different methods out there, and you'll probably develop your own method over time. Uh, but this is the method that I use, and it works really well for me. So let's go ahead, and I'll show you how to pack and light a pipe. Okay, first things first with uh, tobacco, there are different kinds of tobaccos or different cuts of tobaccos. Uh, this one right here is what we call a flake. Let me move these things out of the way. This is what we call a flake. A flake is kind of a pressed tobacco, pressed into strips. Um, so what you're going to need to do is you're going to have to rub this out. And I will show you how to rub that out. Set that aside. What you're going to want to do, easiest way, grab a piece of paper, lay it down, take the tobacco, and just fold it over like this. And then just kind of shred it. And it'll end up in little bits like that. You want to continue doing this until they're in small little pieces. Now the reason for doing this is if you take it and you roll it up and stuff it in the pipe, it's not going to burn very even. Uh, some people actually do it that way and it may work fine for them, but I've found that if I break it up like this into little strips, it's actually going to work a lot better. Now you may even take this a step further and take it and just kind of rub it between your hands and it'll make it an even finer piece. Um, the problem with doing this too much, I wouldn't do it with all the tobacco, take about half of it, um, rub it out like that, is it leaves it very small and you might actually suck it up in uh, to the pipe itself. So there we have a flake. The reason for doing it on a piece of paper is this, so that I don't waste the tobacco. Slide it right back into there. Missed a few pieces there. Okay, so there we have our uh, flake tobacco. Another type of tobacco is uh, called a pressed tobacco. Pressed tobacco usually comes in thick chunks um, like this. And what you'll have to do is, um, that one kind of came apart, but uh, you'll break it apart. Um, and just like I showed you before, you're going to rub it between your hands. This is one that you actually want to do this way. Um, you can break it apart a little bit, but this is usually pretty... Uh, pretty densely packed, pretty densely pressed. So that one right there is a pressed tobacco. Then you have your standard tobaccos. Your standard tobaccos are, are usually pretty uh, moist and they're ready to be taken and put right into your pipe. And this is the type of tobacco that we're going to be working with today and showing you how to pack a pipe. I'm going to use uh, this tobacco because it's a little bit lighter color, and I'm going to use this pipe here. This is a Eric Nording pipe. Um, it's a, got a pretty large bowl in it, so it'll help us uh, tremendously. Always use a piece of paper um, when you're packing a pipe, especially at home. Sometimes you can't do it uh, while you're at the shop. If you can't do it while you're at the shop or out somewhere, uh, you can always use it and uh, dip the pipe into the tobacco bag. But for our purposes here, this is what you want to do. Take some tobacco, um, just take a bunch between your first three fingers and just sprinkle it over the bowl. And continue doing this until it reaches the top and is overflowing a little bit. Take it here, kind of gather it to the center and push it down into the bowl. And here's where I like to use a pipe tamper. A uh, pipe tamper um, is one of these it usually has a flat surface on the bottom you can use about anything you can make one out of a wooden dowel if you want um, this is a what they call a check tool has a little poker has a scoop um, for scooping some of the ash out of your uh, pipe when you're smoking it and it'll uh, fit on a keychain or in your pipe pouch um, these about a dollar and a quarter at your uh, tobacconist once uh, the pipe is filled like that you're going to want to pack it about halfway down now you don't want to pack it too terrible tight because if you pack it too tight it's not uh, going to have proper draw. So once we've got it down um, where we need it, about halfway down the bowl, we're going to repeat the process. Just take some more tobacco, sprinkle it on the top until it overflows a little bit. Push it down in there until it's about level. And then you want to pack it down to about three quarters of the way. 
now that it's packed three quarters of the way you can probably take some of this here and sprinkle it on the top until it overflows a little bit and then you want to pack it even with the top of the pipe now to the lighting portion uh, when you're lighting a, a tobacco pipe um, I never recommend using a, uh, a harsh flame kind of like a cigar flame um, a torch I wouldn't use a torch because you can actually burn the pipe itself always use a, a, a soft flame uh, kind of like this or use a match um, and when you're getting ready to light the pipe you put the pipe in your mouth you put the flame over top of it or I can get my pipe to light here you put it over there and just start puffing you'll start puffing and drawing in until the uh, tobacco pipe gets lit I'm gonna go ahead and try and do this here You want to take about two or three second puffs until you get most of the tobacco on the top of the pipe lit. Let's try again. There we go. Now once that's lit, you're going to want to take a, a few more puffs and pack it down as you're puffing. Not too tight though, just enough to uh, pack the ash on top. and it'll actually sink down into the pipe a little bit and once you have it there relight it again and take a few more puffs so you have a nice cherry on it like that and that'll get your pipe going this is actually the method that has worked best for me usually I don't have to relight the pipe after using this method um, so there you have it that's how to pack and light a tobacco pipe Andrew here with the Old Toby Podcast. I just wanted to thank you for watching this video and encourage you to go over to www.oldtoby.com to check out one of the world's only free pipe and tobacco podcasts. You can download the radio show or you can listen to a live stream of it. Check out the forums, check out tobacco reviews, and even talk to some pipe carvers and others interested in the nostalgic pastime of pipe smoking. Thanks for watching.